Okay. Uh, this question is not uh, any Bayes theorem or uh, any question. Uh, this is like a, a simple question. However, uh, to solve this question, we have to understand how the uh, order book work. So, like many of you would be knowing this, uh, how the order book work. But let's let's try to identify. So, what the question says that you are placing the first order. So the first order you are placing at 420. So the first order is placed at 420. The second order is placed at 415. Okay. The probability that the first order is getting executed is 0.4. The probability that the second order getting executed is 0.3. Okay. Now they are asking that what is the probability that if that if the first order is getting executed that second order will get executed or we can write that probability that given so they are saying that given that first order got executed so given first order got executed we need to find out the probability that second order will get executed so they are asking us this question okay so first of all let's try to identify like what happens uh, why this probability is slightly lower first is this probability slightly lower is uh, by um, like randomly or it's it has a purpose it should it be like lower than this or is it is it by uh, some random chance that this is a uh, lower than this okay so if you see like let's say the price currently is 425 assuming the price is 425 and you are putting an order to buy at 420 so you are putting order to buy at 420 another order you are putting buy at 415 so this has higher price so exchange will give priority to this order because they, they they are able to sell at a higher price to you okay but this will get a lower priority so 415 will have a lower priority so if the price let's say falls from 425 first it will hit this so this will get executed as a result the probability of this is higher because the second it will after that it will ex hit 415 so which has a lower probability so which will be executed after this so hence lower probability because it may happen that the price may not come to 420, 415 it may only be coming to 419 and then again increase in that event this will not get executed so this is not by chance this is purposely they have given that it is lower and yes logically it should be lower than this lower or equal to than this okay now we are they are asking that what is the probability that if first order is executed that means if this is executed they are asking that what is the probability that this will get executed so definitely this probability will be more than 0 0.3 because 0 0.3 is we are not knowing whether this is executed or not so after this executed the chances of this getting executed would be slightly more than 0 0.3 Okay, so we have to find out that. Okay, now I ask you one question: What is the probability that if this order get executed, so if second order get executed, what is the probability that the first order is executed? What can be said about this? What will be this? Can we can we say definitely something? Right? Can we say it will be one? Because definitely like you are arriving at 415 only once you have done. So we know that first order getting executed given second order is executed is 1. Okay. Now we will play on this. Okay. So what we have is if you see that probability of A given B, probability of A and B, joint probability of A and B is given as probability A given B. That is given that B is done executed what is the probability A is uh, executed into probability of B. This way it can be written. Another way it can be written is probability B given A into probability of A. Right? So A and B can be written these two ways. A given B into PB, B given A into PA. Now if you consider th these, these are unconditional probability of A and B. Okay, these are conditional probabilities. Now what we are required, so let's say A is equal to second order, B is equal to first order. Okay, so we know that, so we put, so we can equate these two, so we can equate probability of A given B into PB equal to probability of B given A into PA. 
now a is second so we can write probability of second order given first order into probability of first order equal to probability of b is first right so first order given second into probability of second now if you see we know probability of second this is known to us this probability of second this probability of second is known probability of first order given second probability of first order given second this is also known to us so this is one probability of second order is 0.3 probability of first order is also known 0.4 and we are required to compute this so this and this are same so we will compute 0.3 divided by 0.4 or 0.75 so this this not, had nothing to do with the base theorem but uh, like uh, it, it I'm not saying that it had nothing to do like you can uh, say that it's a updated probability computation but this could be computed very easily using this joint probability concept make sense